Hello everyone, in today's video we will be talking about Star Stable Mobile and why it might be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you view it. First, let's go ahead and start off with the bad news, then go ahead and have the good news be towards the end of the video. So for the bad news that may be bad depending on how you view it, is that Star Stable Mobile is going to draw a younger audience to the game and more younger kids will play Star Stable. Now with more younger kids joining the game, it can bring a lot of positives and a lot of negatives. Some of the positives would be with more younger kids joining, that makes it so Star Stable grows more, so it expands more. With that being said, hopefully more updates will come out, hopefully Star Stable will actually start working on quest lines for the higher levels, hopefully more development will happen within the game with a bigger audience. The negatives would be for the older players of the game, for the people that are older teenagers or could even possibly be younger adults. With a younger audience joining the game, it's going to make the game very, very different than what it is now. How games work is they dedicate more of their time to the majority of the audience that they have. So for example, if younger players join Star Stable, more than likely they would dedicate more to the younger players of the game, giving us not so much realistic horses more like those Jorvik wild horses that we used to have, which I forgot what they're called now, but more of those cartoony like horses with the different colors, which in general, my point to this is it can just really change the game a lot. So that would be the negatives of that. I would also just like to say that right now, recently actually, Star Stable just released Star Stable Mobile to the US and they only have it for like iPhone or iPad. I don't have an iPhone, I have an Android so I can't like access it. In the future, they should release Star Stable Mobile to Android phones, but right now it's just iPhone. So I had one of my club members help me with this part of the video. She actually filmed what Star Stable Mobile is like for me so I can put this in the video. So thank you so much Floppy for doing that. Now some positives with Star Stable Mobile coming out. Well, one main positive is now you can literally play Star Stable anywhere you want. So like if you're traveling, you can still play the game on your phone and you can pretty ma much like access it in any place, any location you want because it's on your phone now. It's a lot easier to access. It's good if you're about to be late for like a club meeting or if your computer crashed or something bad happened like that, you have a backup now. So that's definitely a positive. Another good positive would be for people who are like YouTubers or they run some type of social media involving Star Stable is it is so much easier to film on your phone and like screen record than it is on your computer because your computer is a lot more of a hassle to film things on than your phone is. So Star Stable Mobile coming to like the US, that's awesome for YouTubers that are here or anybody who like runs their own social media. Now for the last positive, there obviously are more positives. I'm just being straight to the point with this video. So one other positive that is super good that I kind of touched on earlier was that this will hopefully grow Star Stable and hopefully save Star Stable a little bit with what's happening. Hopefully more people will join the game now that it's on mobile. It's gonna appeal to more people, which will then help the game development. Now with all of that being said, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.